Hello and welcome to St. Jude's Children's Liturgy of the Word for January 31st. It's the third Sunday in Ordinary Time. Now let's stand up and sing our opening song. A reading from the book of Deuteronomy. The Lord said to Moses, I will choose one of their own people to be a prophet like you. I will give my message to that prophet who will tell the people exactly what I have said. That prophet will speak in my name and anyone who doesn't obey the message will have to answer to me. The word of the Lord. And now we say, thanks be to God. The responsorial psalm, the response is, If today you hear God's voice, harden not your hearts. Sing joyful songs to the Lord. Praise the mighty rock where we are safe. Come to worship him with thankful hearts and songs of praise. If today you hear God's voice, harden not your heart. Bow down and worship the Lord, our Creator. The Lord is our God, and we are his people, the sheep he takes care of in his own pasture. If today you hear God's voice, harden not your heart. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. May the word of God be on my mind, on my lips, and in my heart. And we say, Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus and his disciples went to the town of Capernaum. Then, on the next Sabbath, he went into the Jewish meeting place and started teaching. Everyone was amazed at his teaching. He taught with authority and not like the teachers of the law of Moses. Suddenly, a man with an evil spirit in him entered the meeting place and yelled, Jesus from Nazareth, what do you want with us? Have you come to destroy us? I know who you are. You are God's holy one. Jesus told the evil spirit, be quiet and come out of the man. The spirit shook him. Then it gave a loud shout and left. Everyone was completely surprised and kept saying to each other, 
What is this? It must be some kind of powerful teaching. Even the evil spirits obey him. News about Jesus quickly spread all over that part of Galilee. The gospel of the Lord. And now we say, praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Good morning. Has your room at home ever been messy? And then did you have to clean up all that messiness? What kind of things do you usually have to clean up? I'll bet books, toys, clothes, headphones, stuffed animals, and probably a lot of other things. I have messes at home too. They usually look like this. So what do you think these messes we have at home? Do you ever see those types of messes here at church? No, not so much. It looks pretty clean just about all of the time, doesn't it? Which makes my mess at home look especially messy and out of place, right? So I should probably clean it up, don't you think? Well, just like the messes we have in our rooms and at home, we also have messes inside of us. And a lot of times we think we're supposed to clean those inside messes up on our own. We might even think that we need to clean up our messes before we can come to church. Or maybe we think we need to hide our messes when we, when we come to church because it looks so clean, right? And it wouldn't be good to make it messy. But in today's gospel story, we see someone in Jesus' faith community who decides to spill their inside mess right in the middle of the worship service. The story calls that mess an evil spirit. But did you notice how Jesus responded to this person's mess? Jesus didn't get mad or upset with the person. Instead, Jesus helped the person clean up his messes right then, right there. Although our church sanctuary is almost always clean, that doesn't mean that we have to have everything cleaned up in our own lives to be here. In fact, our faith community can actually help us with God's guidance and love to clean up our messes just like Jesus did in today's gospel story. Not only do we need need to be all cleaned up to be a part of the church, we can invite others in the faith community to know about our messes. Then together and with God's help, we can work together to clean up our messes. And that is the good news for today. Now let's pray. Okay, now let's stand up and profess our faith. Let's answer yes, I do to the following questions. Do you believe in one God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth? Yes, I do. Do you believe in Jesus, the son who suffered and died for us? Yes, I do. Do you believe in the Holy Spirit who guides us to do the right thing? Yes, I do. Oh God, Grant that we live a good life with your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Now let's offer a prayer to someone who needs it. Close your eyes tight and think of that person. Say a little prayer for them in your heart. And together, Lord, hear our prayer. Since we can't be together at church today, we say an act of spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy and blessed sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. 
Our time has ended for today, so go forth and announce the gospel. This is the light of mine, I'm going to let it shine. This is the light of mine, I'm going to let it shine. This is the light of mine, I'm going to let it shine. Let it shine, let it shine, let it shine. This is the